7 basic tools of quality. This video provides a high level overview of the 7 basic tools of quality. These tools are applicable in manufacturing as well as service industry. Knowledge of these tools is mandatory for every working professional. This video is brought to you by Advanced Innovation Group Pro Excellence. Drive success to excellence. Seven basic tools of quality. There are many ways to improve a process. The success of any process improvement project lies in right identification of root causes, identifying relationship between variables, identifying patterns within data, and standardization. The use of seven basic tools of quality is the first step towards successful process improvements. Cause and Effect Diagram Cause and Effect Diagram is also known as Fishbone or Ishikawa Diagram. It was developed by Kaoru Ishikawa in 1968. It is used for identification of root causes. The key problem area is represented as eye of the fish. The root causes are represented as bones and subbones of the fish. It is mostly represented as 5Ms and 1P. 5Ms stand for man, machine, material, method, mother nature. And 1P stands for people. Check sheets. Check Sheets is one of the most simple tool that helps us standardize activities. It can be used in any process and can be easily customized for use. It is used for real-time data collection. A check sheet has marks as described in the figure. The marks are divided in separate groups. It is mostly used to identify defects in a process. It also standardizes activities and is used as a reminder tool for effective planning. Control Charts Control charts were developed by Walter A. Schuhart in 1920s. It helps us understand whether the process is in statistical control. Control charts are used to track the performance of matrix in focus. The upper control limit and lower control limit are plus or minus three standard deviations away from the mean. When points fall outside control limits, process is considered as out of statistical control. Concepts of common cause and special cause variation are used in control charts. Different control charts are used for different types of data. Histogram Histogram is also known as frequency plot. It was first developed by Carl Pearson. Histogram is used to identify the probability of continuous data. It can only be used for continuous data. It resembles bar charts. A bar chart is created from count data and histogram is created from frequency. Histogram requires limited statistical knowledge. Pareto charts. Pareto charts were developed by Wilfredo Pareto. They are based on 80-20 rule where 80% 80 causes are due to 20% problems. It helps identify 
and quantify top root causes from trivial many. It is used for discrete data. It requires data collation, that is defects, errors, count data, etc. It is easy to understand graphical representation. It allows users to easily infer results. It helps in immediate notification of the results. Scatter Diagram Scatter diagram or scatter plots were developed by Francis Galton to identify the relationship between two continuous variables. They help us understand the extent of relationship between two variables. It is used for continuous data only. Scatter plot requires data collation for both x and y variables. It is easy to understand graphical representation and it allows users to easily infer results. Data can be positively or negatively correlated. No correlation can also exist. Stratification Stratification is bifurcation of data into meaningful groups. Most widely used stratification tool is run chart. Run charts help understand whether data is stable. It is used for continuous data only. It identifies if data has clusters, mixtures, trends or oscillations. Run charts resemble to a line chart. Data is collected and plotted over time. Time scale is used as x axis. The center line is always the median of the data set. To summarize, cause and effect diagram. It is also known as fishbone or Ishikawa diagram. It is a tool used for root cause analysis. Check sheet. Check sheet can be used for various purposes. You can collect data, create a checklist for others to follow, and much more. Control charts. Developed by Walter Schuhart, they depict health of any process or metric. They help indicate any process change over time. Histogram. It is also known as a frequency plot. The difference between histogram and bar graph is that the histogram plots frequency. It is a widely used graph. Pareto charts. Based on 80-20 rule, Pareto charts are best used to identify 20% causes that have an impact on 80% problems. Scatter diagrams. Displays the extent of correlation between two variables. It is used only for numerical data. Effective tool to understand relationships between variables. Stratification. Displays various patterns of the given data set such as clusters, mixtures, oscillations or trends. Run charts are widely used to stratify data. This video was brought to you by Advanced Innovation Group Pro Excellence. Thank you.